next one is a found poem. And this is a, a genre I'm really enjoying lately that I learned about from the lovely Heidi Greco and Christy Watson at a poetry workshop that they led. And it's where you find the words of a poem in an unexpected place. And this is my show and tell. This is the place where I found the poem. A letter to the editor in the Peace Arch News by Caroline McHugh Davies. And I've called it Fallen. In just two days, 300 foot healthy heritage cedar trees felled so another house flipper can maximize the house size of his lot. Brought tears to my eyes, had been tricked into thinking one would be saved as it stood behind an orange fence for weeks in the corner of the lot. <coughs> Surrey Ocean Park, a rare gem, eagles and owls, wildlife, forests, green spaces, have to protect what we value. The chainsaw continues as I write, and three strong soldiers that stood for 80 years are gone. Three lost shadows from the sky. Thank you. And the last one I'll read is from this. It's a found poem from a newsletter of the David Suzuki Foundation, which might give you an idea of a little bit where it's going. It's a fall 2013 newsletter. I've called it Climactic Choices. Scientists know we're contributing to climate change, burning fossil fuels, cutting down forests. Canada has more than enough clean energy potential to meet our needs, solar, wind, hydroelectric, biomass. Small but powerful efforts from around the world are reducing pollution, healthcare costs, Avoiding extreme weather, creating jobs, opportunities, healthy communities, healthy children. Our future will be determined by choice, not chance. We can choose to ignore the evidence or make changes, make the right choice. 